Well, good morning, my friend. Cindy Eric's here. And I, uh, I come to you today again. Yesterday, in my post, I talked about unity. But it was, it was about prayer. It's still about that. And I was encouraged this morning by um, Joseph Z on how we need to be unified in the body of Christ. And while I've known this forever, it just seems more imperative that we unite, that we truly unite. And so I'm going to read from some scriptures and then pray about that. And right now I'm in Ephesians 4, starting in verse 1. And this is Paul talking, and the, the title, the subtitle here is Walk in Unity. I therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, beseech you to walk worthy of the calling with which you were called. Do you know that the Lord has called you? That he has a calling on your life? I beseech you to walk worthy of the calling which you were called and to do so in humility, with lowliness, humility, and gentleness, with long suffering, bearing with one another in love. We might not always agree, but we need to bear with one another in love. Endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. There's one body and there's one Spirit, and just as you were called in one hope of your calling. One Lord. One Lord. The one true living God. One faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is above all and through all and in you all. That's powerful. And now I'm going to go over to. Psalm 133. And the subtitle is Blessed Unity of the People of God. A Song of Ascents of David. Behold how good and pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. How good and how pleasant it is to dwell together in unity, even if we have some disagreements. It is like the precious oil upon the head running down on the beard. Feels like an anointing to me. running down on the beard of Aaron, running down on the edge of his garments. It's like the dew of Hermon descending upon the mountains of Zion. For there the Lord commanded the blessing, life forevermore. Life forevermore. Again, that was from Psalm 133. I tell you, I'm going to continue on for just a second with a little prayer here in Psalm 134. Praising the Lord in his house at night, a song of ascents. Let this be a prayer. Behold, bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, 
who by night stand in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands in the sanctuary and bless the Lord. The Lord who made heaven and earth bless you from Zion. Do you know the Lord likes to be blessed by our praises and speaking of him about his character and just adjectives that describe who he is? He's so blessed by that. He loves that. Okay, so the next scripture I'm going to go to is in uh, 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians 12 and beginning in 12. 1 Corinthians 12, 12. And the subtitle is Unity and Diversity in One Body. Surprise, surprise, right? For as the body is one and has many members, but all the members of that body, being many, are one body, so also in Christ. For by one Spirit we were all baptized into one body, whether Jews or Greeks, whether slaves or free, and have all been made to drink into one spirit. For in fact, the body is not one member, but many. So that makes me think about, you know, all the gifts that God has given us individually and how we come together and operate in those gifts in unity, in one body, as one body to bless the Lord and to bless the world and to share the gospel. And um, if you've seen one of my other videos before where I've used this, I had uh, made this list. I keep it in my Bible. I had made this list. My home church is at Capital City Church in Tallahassee. And uh, we have corporate prayer on Wednesdays from 6 to 7. and also on Saturday nights from 6 to 7 and uh, we, just, we essentially we pray seeking the face of God and, you know, and blessing him that's that's our purpose there because when you invite him like that and not just ask for things he shows up and things happen he miracles I mean we've seen miracles from that um, but he wants to be blessed like I just said and so I had written down, some of it was from scripture, and, and most of it's from scripture, but some of it's from songs that I have, that I, that I uh, listen to. And so I am going to pray off of this list right now. I ask that you join me. You join me in lifting up our Father in Heaven. Father in Heaven, your love, it's unfailing, and you satisfy me. You are merciful and gracious, and that's from Psalm 103. You are slow to anger, and you execute righteousness, and you abound in mercy. You do not deal with me according to my sin. Thank you, Lord. You do not punish according to my iniquities. Praise you, Lord. So great is your mercy towards those who fear you. Fear, reverent fear, a reverence for you. Not being afraid of you, but a reverence for you, Lord. As far as the east is from the west, you remove our transgressions. Thank you, Lord. You know my name. Your mercy is from everlasting to everlasting and you have established your throne in heaven your kingdom rules over all regardless of what we see regardless of what we feel Lord your kingdom rules over all bless you in all your works in all places in your dominion bless the Lord O oh my soul Lord you are holy and I magnify your name. You are tender. You suffered and you died for me. 
You are wonderful. You are glorious. We glorify your name, Lord. You are marvelous. You are victorious, Lord. Thank you. You are, you are my healer. You are the healer. You're the deliverer. You're my strong tower. Yes, right here. You are my strong tower, and you're my best friend. You're omnipotent. You're omniscient. You are our soon-coming King Jesus. You are the Alpha. You are the Omega. And you are the Lord of everything. You are wonderful. You are powerful. You are triumphant. You are my shield and my defense. You're my strong tower, soon coming king. You are righteous. You are triumphant. And my heart cries, holy, holy, holy is your name. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Father in heaven. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, thank you. Thank you for everything. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Let's get unified in the body of Christ today and tomorrow and every day after that. No matter what's going on in the world, in the cities, in the countries, that's what he wants, us to be unified. We don't have to agree about everything. We do not have to agree about everything. We can love each other with gentle kindness and patience and peace. Love today. God bless you. I love you. But you know, he loves you so much more. And don't forget, pray.